Hey, welcome back. We're going to uh, revisit, or actually not revisit, we're actually going to take a look at the uh, stuff that came in the uh, Gray Bearded Green Beret stocking. Um, I have not gone through this, so we're going to see what came in this together. Um, again, as I said in my previous video, I bought this. Uh, before Thanksgiving, it shipped out last week and arrived. Um, we did the unboxing just on seeing this and, you know, we can tell nice patch right here. Awesome, like patches. And um, we're going to deep dive because each one of these that was bought and sold had different stuff inside. So let's take a look and see what came inside mine. All right, so just readjusted the camera. We're going to take a look. Uh, here we got it. And just to go over some stuff on the outside, we've got a carry handle. Again, we're looking at uh, something that's like a stocking for Christmas and stuff like that. But it's really kind of fun. Um, Velcro area for patches, including the uh, Gray Bearded Green Beret. Um, I really like the patch. I really do. I got some molly webbing here. You got some tie-down straps here. Front pocket. It has a zipper to get in. And let's turn this around. We got a couple D-rings here, hanging hook, and probably so you can use like a sling bag. It's, this is really, really kind of a neat, neat thing here. Uh, just plain on the back. But let's, uh, let's get into what's in here. Uh, we'll take a look in the uh, front pocket here first. And again, I have no idea what's in here, so we're all going to see these at the same time. Uh, okay, so first up is uh, Fresno Lens. Always a good thing to have, either for reading and, of course, starting fires. Uh, I've got a few of these around, but it's, you know, for fire starting for different kits, especially something this tiny, good to have multiples. Next up, ooh, we have a challenge coin, gray bearded green beret challenge coin. And that looks really sweet. I really, again, it's the same type of logo as on the patch. Um, I still have my original one when I was in the Air Force. Uh, but yeah, I like, I like coins. So if ever anybody ever wants to give me something, give me a unique coin, that would always be fun. But like that, uh, we got another thing in here, uh, another patch, uh, U.S. flag, always a good thing. You know, I know a lot of people are still fighting for this thing. So take care of her respecter and she'll take care of you. So that's all that's in the front pouch. So we're going to unzip the boot. And ah, first thing coming apart. Okay. It's a Thompson survival kit. Um, looks like uh, some snares, tie wire. It's got instructions. And I, I've never done snaring or trapping, so I We'll have to read up and see how this works. Um, but that's cool. This is something that uh, I do not have at all. So, you know, that's the cool thing about some of these kits, especially the random ones where you just don't know what you're going to get. Uh, so read up, give this a try, see if I can get it set. Uh, not really going to go trapping for anything here. Uh, at, in the suburbs, but uh, again, this is something that uh, should be in a kit. So it's going to go in a kit. And this fell out. All right, let's see. What do we got here? I believe this, I know he was sending out media DVDs for his films. I have a feeling that's what this is. It's Green Berets No Nonsense Bug Out. Preparedness season, series, uh, survival summit. 
So, oh, very cool. Very cool. So, you got a USB drive with the name of it on there. Something I'm definitely going to take up and watch. That's really cool. Plus, survival tin with a bit of glue. Um, but yeah, that's cool. We're going to go check this out. I like movies, like YouTube, um, stuff like that. So this will be this will be a fun one. But also, great little tin. Something to put some extra stuff in. Like that. Oh, here's a big one. Okay. So your squeeze micro. Uh, I've got a couple of regular Sawyer's so your squeezes that uh, I've used quite a bit. And this one is going to go up on the bottle itself. It looks like it comes with all the flush and, and fill, the bags, everything else. Uh, and I know most people here are going to know what these things do. And they, they just work. Uh, it's one of those things that easy to trust. Um, not bad to have another bag. So, like I said, I've already got a couple of these. But, you can't have too many ways to purify water. So, one extra way. This will, maybe I'll do a, a small, like, little survival kit. Like a fanny pack survival kit. This will definitely find its way in there. Um. But cool, again, all the stuff that came in this. Uh, no one else is going to have the same stuff that I have in mind, which is really cool. So there's, let's dig in and see what else is in here. Uh, but so far, really, really cool. Uh, ooh, this looks like a little micro survival kit. Yep, it's the Bug Out Survival Supplement Boss, the Mini Signaling Kit. So what we have in here is a signal mirror, a whistle, three mini glow sticks, don't have any of those, 15 feet of vinyl ribbon, chalk, five reflective patches, 10, excuse me, 10 reflective tacks. So that's really cool. I'm not, not going to get into it. I don't want to tear it open, but there's the whistle, there's the reflector, there's the uh, little light sticks. We've got the tacks and we got the ribbon. And it looks like behind there's the uh, chalk. So yes, this is really cool. I don't have one of these. And I've these boss kits have been in my uh, on my list of stuff to pick up for a while. I just I haven't because um, I've got most of my survival bases covered in in my main kit. But you know what? Supplement. Not a bad thing to do. So, yeah, that's really cool. That's a definite win. What else do we have in here? Ooh, that's heavy. Oh, I know. It's another uh, fair rod and striker. Ah, nice. Nice. That's every bit of five inches by... Man, half an inch. Easy. So definitely, again, these are those things that you just can't have enough of. And uh, that's another one. So this will, again, I'll, that's nice. That's, you know, so much better than the ones that are like this big and no bigger around than the actual rope that's on here. So this is definitely going to uh, find its way in a supplement kit. Um, maybe make a car kit or another bicycle kit, motorcycle kit. Another one, just like can't have too many lighters. All right, we got one, one more thing. Yep. Ooh, okay. Now we're talking. This is cool. This is another bug out survival supplement. This is the fire kit. So we got two 
boss kits. I'm excited. And I like fire kits. Um, so this is something that will find its way in it in the bag in its entirety. Um, just like it is. Looks like there's yep, wire saws. Okay, all kind of stuff. So here's what's in the 33 piece fire starting kit. A lighter, steel wool, four char cloth, two tea light candles. Um, I might replace the two that are in here for two of these eight hour tea lights. Uh, I've got a bunch of those, but then again, maybe not. So it's two tea lights, ferrocium rod and striker uh, right here. Again, small, but you know what? Fits pocket magnifier, so another Fresno lens, matches, six magnesium capsules. That's always cool. I don't have any magnesium. I'm out. Um, one ounces, one ounce of fat wood. It's buried in here somewhere. Uh, some foil paper. Probably for use with a battery, I would imagine, or maybe signaling, but probably meant for using with a battery. Pencil sharpener. Work with the fat wood sticks, get some nice shavings. Six cotton tinder tabs, it's right there. Ten foot of jute twine, cordage and fire starter. Um, I've got some jute twine that's wax infused as well. I use as a uh, like a wick. Really cool. Uh, waterproof tinder ball, a wire saw, six foot of Kevlar thread. A flange bearing, probably for doing a uh, bow drill. That's that's something I need to learn how to do. Um, that's in my thoughts, and you know, others will have different thoughts, which is fine. Um, if you have something like this, which will last forever, especially if you got a few this size, or um, you know, lighters, stuff like that. There's a lot of work involved in doing bow drill. I've watched videos on it. Um, I've not done it yet, but it just, it looks to me to be a little more tedious and expends a lot more energy. I mean, if you have time and it's something you want to practice, then yeah, I could see that being a very good, good thing. But if you pack your kit right, you know, you'll have a lighter, you'll have a ferro rod uh, and you'll have matches. So you'll have multiple ways of starting fires without having to get into something that physically intensive. Again, my thoughts, everyone, you practice your survival ex the way you need to. Uh, but that's cool that it has it there. So I will uh, I'll take, take a look at that this year. See, see about doing that. Uh, there's also a folding knife and a survival information sheet. Um, again, I'm not going to dig into this just because it's nicely packed and I'm not real good at getting things back into stuff like this but I might swap out a couple things um, and I might not I might take this I might take these two and just start a new kit to throw in my trunk um, I've already got my uh, main 72-hour kit that stays in the trunk, but uh, you know what? Again, these are supplements, so they will very easily fit in a bag. This may go in that kit already, because uh, I don't really have a whole lot of signaling other than a flashlight in that kit, so this might find its way into my kit, the uh, 72 Pro. So, yeah, that's... that's uh, but the gray bearded green beret sent to me for Christmas that I ordered. <laughs> uh, but very nice. And just to go quickly through again, we've got the snare trap, the Sawyer Money, uh, Micro Squeeze, two boss kits. One's a fire piece or fire starter signaler. You got a massive ferro rod and striker. 
We've got his bug out movie, a US flag patch, challenge coin, Fresno lens, which I should probably just throw right in there. Uh, another patch here, Grand Beard patch, and the stocking itself. I'm excited. Um, again, this was a randomly put together by the people who were doing the packing, and I know they're sold out this year. But watch next year for the next time they do it. And you might get some really, really cool stuff. Um, but I'm happy. I like, like what came, and I have uses for pretty much everything on here. Um, again, I'm not, not into doing the trapping, but it's nice to have the ability. I just need to have the knowledge now, so I need to go out and get the knowledge. Um, but that is something I can do on winter's days to do the reading ahead of time and then uh, go out and put it in practice at a later time. But again, nice to have the equipment. Um, again, water and fire right here. Um, the only thing I think that would, that I feel is missing out of this is a standalone kit is a shelter. Um, there's no shelter component here. But again, this was not sold as a survival kit. This was sold as a uh, stocking grab bag of survival items. So, guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed a quick look at uh, what came in my stocking from the uh, Survival Santa. And uh, we'll talk to you later.